Welcome back to another table where we're going to show some of the stuff that's being shown off at the symposium. Awesome training event. This is the fourth year and uh, we have so many friends that have come by and actually invested in training and care about the industry as a whole and they're helping us put on this. And this has been one of our most popular tables. You always see a crowd over here checking out what they have on display. So uh, show me, what is it that you have? What are you showing off? What is it called? What does it do? Sure. My name is Mallory David. I'm with Parker Sporlin. I have Dennis Setchfield with me here today. And we are showing off ZoomLock. We got ZoomLock Max, which is our press to connect fitting, and ZoomLock Push, which is our push to connect fitting. So two great brace-free options for you. We'll start off talking about zoom lock push. We have two different styles. We have a removable style, which you can tell it's removable if it has a plastic lip at the end. You can use our set of removable tools to go ahead and remove it if necessary. Like you mean after it's already installed? Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we don't recommend that you'd reuse That's it. That's different, yeah. But you don't have to cut your line down every right. time, so it's kind of nice. You don't have to cut back farther exactly. and farther every time something happens. Exactly. Then we also have our optimized style, uh, which is not removable. The difference between the two, aside from being removable and not removable, is the removable has an O-ring that's compatible with R22. Okay. So that's always important to know. Yeah, that's good to know. Zoom lock push can withstand up to 870 PSI. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, that's a plenty. Yes, <laughs> we've done extensive pressure testing and honestly, the pipe will burst before anything happens to the fitting. Yeah. So it's it's impressive for sure. Okay. All right. Well, that answers part of the, probably one of the, the biggest pushback questions that you have about leaking. Exactly. So, um, I mean, where do you see problems? What do you see that causes leaks? Like if you get calls or, or you hear from people that are yeah. having leaks? Honestly, the biggest issue that happens from leaks is just not proper installation. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do an installation of our ZoomLock Max, and it's the same sort of installation that we recommend for ZoomLock Push. Okay. So it's all about the prep work, is what we say. All right. So now we'll talk a little bit about ZoomLock Max here. ZoomLock Max is rated up to 700 psi, and it's our press to connect fitting, like I said. The tool and jaw provides three points of pressure, so it presses once before, on, and after the O-ring, creating a leak-free seal every time. Yep, so right on the inside here, I do see that. There's an O-ring yep. right before each of this this ridge right here. Yep. Okay, you so can that's see how the seal is made. Cutaway. Because when I, whenever I look at the picture, I think yes. copper to copper, like copper's being smashed into copper, and somehow right. that's supposed to hold. Right. But there is an O-ring in there, okay. Yep, so nice. the O-ring is really what's going to prevent your, your leaks. Okay, nice. So let's go ahead and do a little demo here. We recommend always cleaning up your pipe. This is the first step to installing a push or a max fitting. Got to make sure we're cleaning it up with Scotch-Brite. We recommend Scotch-Brite over any other sandpaper. Some other sandpaper have much harder grits on them yeah. and it can damage the pipe a little have bit. have ridges in there yeah. that could leak, yeah. The ridges will cause leaking. So if yep. we clean it up with Scotch-Brite really good, you'll notice it kind of turns a bright pink color. That's what we're looking for. We next recommend just running your finger along the pipe, feeling for any small ridges with your nail. If you have a ridge that's going in this vertical direction, that's where your refrigerant's gonna leak yeah. out. So that's a really important step there. Okay. Then we recommend using our depth gauge put it in and we mark it with a sharpie. Then you, all you have to do is take your fitting and you push it right on and you'll feel a click. So you'll know when it's in there, but okay. that line will help you to determine that you have it all the way on. And then simple enough, we put it in. We do press on the O-ring. That's something important to note, very similar to pro press in the plumbing industry. Line it up right. Line it up with the O-ring. Pretty self-explanatory when you see it. When you see it, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then we just push the trigger. And there you go, a leak-free seal every time. Wow. You're not gonna pull that apart. You don't think I can pull this no. apart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. on <laughs> That's awesome. Strongman test. Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if I had some leverage, come on. Right, if the pipe was longer. <laughs> yeah, I mean... sure, sure. Yeah. You guys made this a really short pipe on purpose. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's pretty simple. Awesome. It is. It is. So, 
definitely so, two great options. This is have infield testing, like uh, people have been trying this out. You got good feedback? Yep, we have had good feedback ever since we launched um, ZoomLock way back in mm -hmm. eight or nine years ago. We relaunched a couple of years with ZoomLock Max and we've just had happy customers since. Yeah. Uh, one thing, like I said, the biggest issue is making sure you're doing that prep work. That's what the key is to making sure that you're gonna have good success with the product. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, where can we find this? How can we, I mean? So most of your Sporlin authorized wholesalers will carry ZoomLock. If they don't have it in store, they have all our part numbers, they can yeah. order it in for you. And Sporlin has been around for a long time making really trustworthy stuff. And they, there's nothing about them that they need to build some flashy new product to help their business. Because they are an established business. If they're putting something out, it's because they actually think it works and right. they're trying to keep the same brand name, the same value that we've had from them for years exactly. for all their products. And so, yeah, I mean, um, this isn't like a startup idea for right. a new company. And that's, exactly. yeah, that's a really important fact. For sure. And along those lines, you know, we're so confident in the product. We got um, five and 10 year warranties on our ZoomLock Push and 15 year warranty on our ZoomLock Max. So nice. we wouldn't be supporting the product if we didn't believe in it. What's the flare? I see a flare out here. What's that? We do. So we have two flare options. We definitely recommend our ZoomLock Push Flare for mini split users. If okay. you're out there and you're interested in dabbling in brace free, but you're nervous about the upfront cost that comes with a tool and jog, mm -hmm. I always recommend starting with a good uh, flare application for your mini splits. Let me see this. It's pretty so cool. You have your thread and your flare pre made in here and then you cut your copper to length, clean it, and just push it into the back of this fitting, and uh, you're done. So, uh, you just said you would thread it on first and then slide the copper, or I mean, yep. yeah. I think you can that probably do sense. it both ways, but it's easier to yeah, thread Yeah, you first. don't want to be twisting your copper. Yep, exactly. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Pretty self-explanatory, but that's awesome. Yes. I love this. Yes, we because also Because then have we don't have flare. to rely on in the field, exactly. flares being made right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then how easy is that? Something pre-made and you just push it together. For sure. So we also have the okay. flare in the ZoomLock Max as well. So just trying to make your lives easy out there. I love it. Well, uh, thanks for coming out and Thank showing us what you us. have and supporting what we do. It's for sure. Great. Appreciate it. We appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.